Coronary angiography is a minimally invasive procedure that allows doctors to detect narrowed or blocked blood vessels in the heart. In a healthy person, the blood vessels allow smooth flow of blood to the heart muscles. In patients with coronary artery disease, the blood vessels supplying the heart are narrowed by fatty deposits. This results in reduced blood flow to the heart muscle, which can cause chest pain. If the blockage worsens, the blood flow to the heart may stop and the heart muscles could be damaged. This is known as a heart attack. During the procedure, you may be slightly sedated. The doctor will carry out the procedure either through your wrist or groin. The area is first clean and then a local anesthetic will be given to numb the area. A wire and a small soft plastic tube will then be inserted through a blood vessel towards the heart using X-ray guidance. After entering the blood vessels of the heart, dye will be injected into both coronary arteries. Moving images of the arteries would be taken using X-ray. Another tube may also be passed into the left heart to assess the heart function. If a blockage is identified, another procedure to unblock the vessel will be required. This is called angioplasty and is usually performed in the same setting. In angioplasty, a specially made balloon placed on a wire is passed into the narrowed or blocked coronary artery. The balloon is then inflated, enlarging the narrowed segment. In many cases, a metal mesh tube or scaffold called a stent is then placed at the site of the narrowing to keep the blood vessel open. Angioplasty and stenting improves blood flow in blocked coronary arteries and will help improve cardiac symptoms and quality of life. If you are having a heart attack, this procedure can save your life and reduce heart muscle damage. The risks of angiography and angioplasty vary from patient to patient. In general, the complication rate for angiography is less than 1% and for angioplasty, less than 3%. These include bleeding, kidney damage, heart attack, stroke, vessel injury, amongst others. There is also a 5 to 25% chance that the unblocked artery might re-narrow within 6 months. Your doctor will advise you on the risks and benefits of the procedure so that you may make an informed decision. The duration of this procedure varies depending on the case, but usually takes about an hour. After the procedure is completed, you will be taken back to the ward for recovery. If the procedure is uncomplicated, you may be discharged on the same day or the following day. Usually, you should be able to return to work within a week after the procedure. If you have a stent for a heart attack, the recovery period will be longer. On discharge, you should continue to take the medications given to you regularly and come for the scheduled follow-up appointments.